Let's write the Lewis structure for XeOF2. Then we'll look at the molecular geometry and bond angles. So first off, let's count our valence electrons. Xenon, that's in group 18, sometimes called 8A. It has eight valence electrons. Oxygen has six. Fluorine has seven, but we have two fluorines. So we add this all up and we get 28 total valence electrons for the XeOF2 Lewis structure. We're going to put xenon in the center. That's the least electronegative. So we'll put it right here. And then let's put the fluorines on either side. And then the oxygen atom, we can just put that on top. So we have a total of 28 valence electrons for XeOF2. Let's put electrons between atoms. That's going to form the chemical bond. So we'll use up six that way. Then we can complete the octets on the fluorine atoms and then the oxygen. For the central xenon, we'll put another pair there, but we've only used 26 valence electrons and we have 28. So we're going to have to take and put another pair of electrons here with the xenon. Xenon can have more than eight valence electrons. It can have an expanded octet. So it's okay with more than eight. So this is a reasonable Lewis structure for XeOF2. We've used all 28 valence electrons. Oxygen, the fluorines, they have eight valence electrons. And the xenon, it has two, four, six, eight, ten. That's okay, it can have more than eight. The problem is, if we look at formal charges, the fluorines, their formal charges are zero. The oxygen here though, that's minus one. And then the xenon has a plus one formal charge. With formal charge, we want them to be as close to zero as possible. So if we were to move this pair of electrons here to form a double bond, remember xenon can have more than eight. Now the formal charge for each one of these is zero, same for the fluorines. So this is actually a better Lewis structure for XeOF2 because our formal charges are all zero. If you need help with formal charges, there's a link in the description of this video. Let's look at the molecular geometry for a moment. So the purple, that'll be our central xenon atom. We'll add our two fluorine atoms. You can see they spread out. Then we add our oxygen atom, and now we need to add those two lone pairs. So when we put those two lone pairs there, one and then two, you can see that changes the shape. We actually end up with something called a T-shaped molecular geometry here. You can see the T here. This is a T-shaped molecular geometry. Those bond angles here should be about 90 degrees. So when we have two lone pairs and three atoms bonded, we get a T-shaped molecular geometry. Back to our Lewis structure. So because we have our formal charges of zero here, this is the most likely or best Lewis structure for XeOF2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.